What's up, Scriptonauts? Today, we're going to show you how to get set up and be a part of the Radix Wallet Developer Preview. So we've got two versions now. We've got the iOS and the Android version. First thing we gotta do is sign up for the program. So let's jump over the window. We'll step through the process and kind of show you the ins and outs of each version so that you can get up and running and testing with the new Radix Wallet. All right. Let's do this. Okay, so first thing I've got pulled up here is the documentation site. You come down and hit the getting started developers, expand that menu out, and then expand out this Radix wallet overview, which of course you can watch to see a few more details, get a little more info of what is what, but we're gonna cut right to the chase and do this installation right here. So first up, we've got to sign up for the program. So we'll jump into this link right here, which gives us this tab that I had open. And now if you're, especially if you're going to use the Android wallet, be sure to use a Google account, okay? So you might want to do like I've done and just set you up if you don't already have one, set yourself up a Google account that you can use. I am going to use Scriptonat at gmail okay so we just nice and easy drop your email in here submit the form now that we've submitted that form let's go to our email and check and you should get an email from radix like this download the beta net wallet developer preview so let's jump into that there and we've got some additional instructions that we can follow now for ios you're going to want to install test flight and set up the wallet there uh, for android we've got one more thing we need to do we'll follow this link right here to submit a google email address again this is where using a google account is important come right here and then just submit our google account for the Android preview. Okay. All right, so now we do have to internally manually enter you guys onto the list when you join this, so it can take a bit. Um, we have an automation that notifies us, but we still have to go in and export the list and get everybody added to the private preview. So please be patient with this. It can take a moment, but from there, once you have been added, this link, instead of saying not available, will be valid. So let me pause the video here, go add my script to not email and come back and show you what the successful link looks like. Okay. So I went and I added myself to the list here. So now we should be able to go to our list, our invite link, and ta-da, you have successfully become a tester. All right, so might take a little patience, but there you go, there is the process for Android, become a tester, fire that up. Of course, we can install here. Now, I'm not gonna do that on the Mac. I'll actually show you on the phone here, we'll shrink this window down and we'll show you what the wallet looks like. Um, of course, you can also join on Android. If you open this on your phone, it's convenient. You can do it right there. So uh, do that. Get your device ready and open your email on that device and it makes it a lot easier. Okay, so next up, I'm going to pause the video one more time, get the mobile device set up so we can see what goes on there as well. Okay, so I've got my Android device fired up here. And what I'm gonna do, show you two things. One, you can just follow the links and install the preview wallet, which will get you here. Okay, I'll open up the wallet. 
I've set up a user already, but of course we can come in here, just delete the wallet data. All right, so the first time you open the app should look something like this. In fact, let's just close it all. All right, so I've got an Android device fired up here. Well, I've got the wallet installed, and then I also want to show you App Tester. So, of course, you can follow the links in the email. Um, ideally, on your device makes it the easiest. So if you open the email on your device and then follow these install links, that is the simplest route. Now, I would also recommend, so of course, you can install just the wallet, but I also installed App Tester, which is sort of like Test Flight in iOS, sort of the same thing for Android. So um, from there, we can go into our test app and you see, you can actually see different versions as they come out. It makes it easier to upgrade. So and for instance, let's go ahead and get the latest one, download it, and get that installed to bring this device up to date. All right, may take a moment. I'm gonna pause while that loads and then we'll continue on. Okay, so that finished and you saw it cycled through something real quick and presents us with this screen. Do you want to install an update to this application? I am going to choose install. Now, if it's the first time you've installed, you'll get a prompt saying, do you wish to install it? Um, so there we go. We are installing the Android wallet. All right. Now we have the latest version installed. We can open that wallet up. And now we have, here's what you kind of see the first time in. It asks us to create an account. So let's name our account. How about Droid? Because we're on the Android wallet. All right. Let's create our account. Let's enter. Now, depending on what biometric you have, this might be your fingerprint. This might be facial recognition. This can also be a pin, which I'm going to pause the video, enter, and come back to. Okay, so once you've put in your biometric verification to identify that this is, in fact, your device, you will be brought to this screen with your first account. So you can do a few things here. First thing, let's go ahead and get ourselves some XRD um, and connect to a browser extension, which we haven't loaded yet. Okay, so this is the screen. We come link to connector. Now we have to do a little bit to go get that connector and install it with our browser. So we'll do that here in a minute um, just to show you, but you've got your link connector you can choose which gateway, which of course we're on beta net right at the moment. And personas. So this is a new segment that was not in the iOS wallet on the first release, um, but it is now available in both iOS and Android. And we'll step through, we can create a new persona. We can name it whatever we would like. So how about droid persona? All right, and then continue. And again, it's going to ask us for our pin, which we'll enter. And then it'll bring us to this screen here where we have created a persona. So we can choose a persona to work with. We just have the one, so we're gonna have that one here. Now this will come into play as we log into dApps, etc. But for now, we've got a persona set up. Great, let's go back. Let's go to our account. Okay, so that was a little fast here. So I came back to the home screen and then I just tapped on the name Droid to open up my account, which of course has nothing in it yet. So I'm gonna hit the three little dots at the top there and get some beta net test tokens, which again, wants a biometric. Okay, so now that that's working on that, we can go back to our tokens here. And in fact, let's just go all the way back home. Um, by the time we come back, we'll go get the browser extension. Let's see if we... It hasn't completed yet. So at some point, there will be some XRD in that wall. 
So next up, let's jump out. We don't really need any of this. Let's go back to the documentation. Um, what we want to do, okay, we signed up. Yeah, we went and got some tokens. We walked through all those steps. So what we want to do is install the browser extension that creates the connection between the wallet. So we're going to click here to download a zip file. Radix connector.zip. I'm going to show in Finder so that we can see what's going on. All right, so that dropped it in downloads. Let's unpack that. Now, if you're on Windows, you might need to use like WinZip or 7-Zip. Uh, on a Mac, you can just double click on it and it will unzip it. So now this Radix connector dev, what we want to do is add this extension to our browser. So I'm going to drop this onto the desktop so that we can get rid of this window here and go into managing our extensions. Okay. So we come in here, come to extensions, turn on developer mode. Okay. You got to push that toggle because we want this option here, load unpack, which is why we dropped it on the desktop right here. And we want to find our Radix connector dev. Okay. That's, this is what we're going to install. This is our browser extension. We can select that. Good to go. And then let's also pin it. So it's convenient for us. All right, so that's all we need to do there. The browser extension is installed. We can now, actually we can do it right here on this tab. We can now interact with it and connect our wallet to the extension. All right, so that first menu we popped open, link to connector, that's what we're gonna do right here. So I'm gonna choose link to connector here. And then, little lag on the video there, hopefully that's not too brutal to watch, but we'll give it a name. So I'm just going to name this desk top and save it. All right. So as you can see, the connector just validated that we are now connected. We can also forget this wallet. If we want to connect another device, we have a connection in wallet. All right. So now we could jump out and go to the, we could go to the dashboard, connect to the dashboard. So let's do that. Let's see if we got a link here. Is it at the end of this? No. All right. So what I'm going to do is come to this first page right here. Just because I don't want to type it out. And go to the beta net dashboard right here. And since we have already connected to the browser extension, I go also go back to this home page. We'll see if we get our print. Now, at this point, sometimes you need to close the wallet app and reopen it. I haven't connected to anything else yet, so I'm getting the prompt. But just be aware, um, if you're in development and, for instance, you've connected to your DAP, and then you come back and connect to the dashboard, there's an update coming that is not implemented yet in this preview version. So you will have to close the app and reopen it to get this prompt here, which allows me to choose my persona. And if you don't have a persona created, it will walk you through the process of creating one at this point so that you can choose one to use for this login process. And then it's going to give you some information that says it wants access to your accounts. And then it's going to bring you to a screen where you can choose which accounts you wish to share with that DAP. All right. So in this case, we just have the one. Just going to continue with that. And there we go. We have a successful persona-based login, or at least the very bare bones beginning of it uh, that we can play around with. So there you go. You have an Android wallet set up, installed, and connected to the Radix dashboard. All right, so I think I'm going to leave that as is. And of course, the process is similar for iOS. If you go through the email here, you can 
install test flight from test flight, you may have to do something called redeem if you get a code, um, but basically follow the instructions. Same thing. If you come here, you'll see it's very detailed. Walk right through it. Tells you here's test flight to install. Okay, good enough. When you first open up test flight, you notice in the top corner here, this redeem. So as you go through the process, if you get a code, a redemption code, you need to open test flight on your device and hit redeem at the top corner there and then input the redeem code that you get. Uh, it's sent automatically in an email from the registration process. So as you're going through this process here, start testing. Now, of course, I've got test flight here as well. Accept and done. And I don't think it's going to show me a redemption code because I have already redeemed my invite. That being said, just wanted to point that out. If you're getting there and you're not seeing in test flight, if you're not seeing, well, really all you will see is this one here. Okay. The Radix wallet preview. If you're not seeing that, make sure you go check your emails and find your redemption code and redeem that in test flight. Okay. Just a quick note I wanted to make sure to point out for iOS users. And then from there, of course, you can open your Radix test wallet, which as you can see, I have already set up and been interacting with. So there you go. iOS, Android, and a browser extension for making the communication between the wallet and your dApp. All right, hope you guys are having fun playing around with the new stuff and getting ready for Babylon and RCNet. The next updates on our roadmap coming up to mainnet with the first version of Radix smart contracts, as we call them, blueprints and components, which honestly makes more sense. Look out for other videos. We'll be showing you how to use additional things like the Radix app toolkit. There's the gumball machine example that has this implemented in the Scripto examples repository you can check out. And other than that, we will see you in the next one. Have a good day. Bye.